Hi, in this video, I'm going to talk you through the simple process of booking your one-to-one -one meetings with your teachers for your progress reviews. In your progress reviews, you will meet with your teachers for five minutes and it will be an online meeting using Teams. So in this video, I'll just show you quickly how to find that booking system on a desktop computer and also on a mobile phone. So let's jump straight in. So the first thing you need to do is get to SharePoint. Now you can also find the link to SharePoint in the description of this video, uh, but you can see here, I've got a SharePoint open and I just need to jump over to what's called the mega menu. So these three bars here. So I'll open that up and you will have your courses listed under my subjects. So I'm going to choose one of my subjects. Today, I'm going to choose chemistry. And then you'll see pop up on your um, screen will be some tabs for your subject. So there's the normal subject information and course um, resources, but for every single course, there's now an additional tab called progress review booking. So I'll click on that and that will bring you through to booking with the teachers for that particular course. Now on a desktop, we have embedded the booking page here on the page, but if you're using a mobile, you'd be wanting to click on this open booking calendar. So I'm going to just pop over to how it looks on my demo site so I can walk you through how to book it in. So I've clicked and I've opened up now um, the page where I'm going to book. So there's a couple of things to note. It says the appointment is six minutes, but actually it's five minutes and then it's one minute for your teacher to take some notes, prepare for the next meeting, that kind of stuff. So don't get upset or offended if they cut you short at five minutes. Now what's really, really important, the calendar will show only dates where your teachers are available. So that will be in the period in November. Um, but at the moment, I've just got one date set for my demonstration. Now, it's really important that you select first the teacher you want to meet with because then the calendar will update with their specific availability. So I can see here, um, I'm available, but Julia is not. So I'm going to click on that. And that now updates the availability. And I can simply click on a date that, and time that works for me scroll down, fill in my details. It's really important to put in your Basvik student email address because then it will send you an email with a confirmation and it will also put a copy of the appointment in your calendar in Outlook. So then the last thing to check, it says, have you selected your teacher's name from the list of names? This is just so you can check that you have chosen the correct person. Otherwise, it will just give you an appointment with anyone in the team who's available. So come in and say yes, Great, continue to book with your Basvik email address and then click book. And there we have it. It's come up now with the details, details of the time and date of my particular meeting and then has the opportunity for to reschedule or cancel. Now, it's really important to note if something changes or something happens and you can't make that specific time that you've booked, make sure you reschedule. That means that your appointment will be freed up for someone else to take. So you're not wasting an appointment. And it also means then you can actually still get an opportunity to meet with your teacher. So let's have a look at that. I'm going to now just check in on my mail and see what that confirmation email looks like. Okay, so now I have my email open and I can see I've got the confirmation message. And it tells me that I have booked with Mark Monaghan. It has the date and the time, and then it has again the option to reschedule. And then most importantly, the button to join your appointment. So when it comes. Okay, so let's look at some options for joining your meeting. So here I am in my calendar. So I now have down here the appointment that I've booked and I can click on it. And I'm here on Outlook Online and it gives me the option to join the meeting. If my email opens, so click on my email and I want to find that meeting. So I can see that it's there, but I'm just going to do a quick search for the word meeting. And there it is. It now has upcoming event and it also has the email confirmation. So I can click on there and it has that meeting information again with a big link saying join meeting now. And it's also showing up with the appointment in my calendar. So I can click join from either of those and that will then take you through to the next step. So if you are waiting for your meeting in the lobby and your teacher doesn't arrive, give them a couple of minutes to turn up. Um, but if they don't turn up, then make sure you just jump back into Teams and send them a chat message to let them know that you're ready and waiting.
Again, now not all teachers will offer this to begin with, but if they do, this is the process for finding that video. So I'm in Teams at the moment, so let's have a look. So once the meeting has concluded, it might take five minutes or so, then you can get back into the chat and then you'll see here a notification that the recording is ready. I've done a few test recordings here, so you might see a couple of different options. Um, but basically I've got here a recording, which I can then click on and that allows me to view that video and come back and watch that again.